So much for notes. <laughs> Who's tired? Usually I stand up here and try to wing it and make announcements, and they, they handed me lists. And uh, tonight they said, don't announce Happy Father's Day. But we have trophy husbands here, so we're moving up a notch. <laughs> Later I'll open up the door so you can see the progress in the patio. They're getting ready to pour cement. So it's a 20 by 20, as you've heard 15 times already, uh, paid for by Glens Falls Foundation. And we have two 15 by 9 market umbrellas I'm going to put out there. So it's going to be very, very nice seating. Um, I'm working on getting the food permit. Right now I'm in a war with uh, Workman's Comp because we're exempt. And they keep saying their site is down. And it used to take me four minutes to get the certificate. Now they're saying eight weeks. So tomorrow. <laughs> um, Saturday, we have Dr. Bruce doing his Roy Orbison show with Arlen and uh, Bob Tressler. It's going to be awesome. Hold on. Um, Take a look at your programs later. I, we, uh, Orion wrote up the bios for the band members. And I don't think we appreciate the fantastic talent that we get coming back here over and over and over again. But when you read their biographies and you see where they performed and how long they've been performing and whatever, it's absolutely awesome. Uh, at intermission, you got a chance to buy more 50-50 tickets. You saw the cakes out there. We also have a handmade quilt that Mrs. Schmidt, I think it's her last name, made for us that we're selling raffle tickets for, and guess how much money is in the penny jar. So, anyway, um, I want to thank Russ Dunham and Lauren Whiting for handling sound, lights, and we're live streaming again tonight. If you ever have a chance that you're not here, go to Facebook and click on the video at the time of the show, and you can watch it. We've had some te technical difficulties, but that's what makes you strong, right? Okay, I think I'm about ready to present Trophy Husbands. Are you back there? All right, let's hear it. Trophy husband. This is Arlen, trophy husband. That's Doug, trophy husband. This is Orion, trophy husband. seen each other but once uh, in the last year and a half yeah. and that was to uh, rehearse a couple of weeks ago or a week ago or something let us begin year and a half for a lot of reasons and uh, you know all the stuff that happened and one of the things that happened is we lost John Prime which is a real tragic this music changed my life a long time ago and um, 
Uh, so we're going to kick it off with a John Prine tune tonight. Are you ready, Maestro? Do you have this? Uh, says when it comes to Orion it's worth the wait so Standing right next to him, on the fiddle and on the viola, one of those coolest dudes. Wow. That's Doug Moody over there. You don't mind being called a dude. 
I'm a dude from <laughs> days gone by. Okay. Yeah, and standing here next to me. There are so many things I could tell you about this guy, but I'll just say uh, a wonderful musician, a uh, really talented person, and a generous and loving person. This is Orion Cribs on the mandolin, everybody. <laughs> I'm his dad, my name is John Cripps, and we are the Trophy Hook.
Ranger cars in Memphis, Tennessee. Half the way there, and we'll be home by morning. Through the Mississippi darkness, rolling on the teeth of sea. And all the towns and people sing, fading to a bad Sorry, my fault. Te technical snap on my part. Try that again. <laughs> yeah, I can turn it down here a little bit. Give me a little bit more. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, that's good. Songs that the cowboys know about the big old round red dog. 
monkeys go. I heard them all on the radio. Yippee I O die. Yippee I O die.
This is a song I wrote a long time ago. It's funny. Some of you may get this. Some of you may not. Some of you may get this. But the older I get, the further away the things I do. Uh, back in those days, um, I would uh, I was I was doing what was called the coffee house circuit, and uh, uh, what I did is I drove around from uh, town to town wherever I wanted to play, and I would uh, it, audition for them. I would just walk in and say, I want to play at your coffee house or your whatever, and uh, I got work that way. Um, and I got a gig at a place, a, a, a bar near Philadelphia. And the deal was, this is a long time ago, uh, John, you get uh, $50 and a place to stay. So, okay, I'm jumping at that, $50 and a place to stay. And I did the gig, at the end of the gig, um, uh, the, bar, the, bar, the owner of the place had forgotten to get me a place to stay. So he, and he says to his bartender, this woman, uh, he says, uh, will you take the musician home? Oh, yeah, okay, I'll take the musician home. I know what you're thinking, you know. But it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like that. It was, you know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the anyway. So I, uh, we had a, we stayed up all night talking and yakking. And I slept by the fireplace by myself. In the morning she made great coffee and I took off the way I always did back then. Anyway, I wrote this song and it was inspired by her and I went back to play it for her about, I don't know, a month or two later. I said, I wrote this song and, uh, and I knocked on her door and uh, she came to the door and she saw me and she pushed me out the door. She said, go away. You can't stay here. My boyfriend is here. If it ever finds out that somebody stayed here, so I left, I mean, you know. And she never heard the song, so, but I recorded it and I made billions on it, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. Say she'd be okay if she'd only settle down. Well, the 
school and go do this, drop out of college and go do this. I wasn't doing anything in college anyway, so. Um, the thing is, it was a really tough time at home. A, a lot of, a lot of burdens, let's say, it, in my, my home, my family's home. And so it wasn't a good time for me to take off, but I really wanted to do it. And I had to tell my dad I was going to do it, and I was going to do it. And so we uh, had this conversation. He came to a, a hear me play at a bar in uh, Alex Bay called The Swinger. Might still be there. Yeah. Might, might have burned down. Mm -hmm. um, but um, it was a happening place, and the band I was in at the time was really loud. I mean, really loud. We had huge equipment. God. So my dad comes. Sits there a whole night of loud rock and roll, and uh, kind of mediocre loud rock and roll. Right? So, 
the end of the night, uh, we have this conversation. I'm expecting an argument. Digging in, you know. I'm 18, I'm right. So, uh, tell me what I'm gonna do. And uh, instead of the big argument, man, I saw a part of him that I had never seen before. He's probably there the whole time. And uh, so he gave me his blessing and he gave me some advice. And a few years later, I was thinking about it and I wrote down this song. It's called A Song and a Prayer. Love that I've got.
see whether you're raising your hands or not. So let's assume that you're all raising your hands. Oh, Del Shannon. Right. How about Dion? <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you like this song anyway.
50-50 tickets, come on back in. We're going to do the drawing. And we've got cakes and pies and all kinds of good stuff up here. Calling all 50-50 ticket holders. Okay, let's begin. shopping. Okay, drum roll. Myself. 
Okay, she's doing our live stream tonight, so we can give her that. Okay, let me go find the band. Something else I was going to mention, but I don't know what it is. Oh, the, the barn sale is open by appointment. If you want to come over, just be sure I'm home. And the bookstore is open anytime. Just come in, turn on the lights, and the donation box is in the bookstore. We have done so well with the bookstore that we can give each band an extra $200. And a single musician gets $100. And I called around to the libraries today because we are overwhelmed with books. They're not going to take books till fall or the end of the year. So we've got to keep pushing our books home. Thank you.
One more song. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do the one to do the drunken box. Okay. Okay. We're going to set a rhyme loose here. Oh, let's do this again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Doug Moody on the fiddle. Yeah, he's okay. He comes from a good family. And uh, this is Arlen Green on the bass. He also comes from a good family. And then there's Orion Cripps on the band. He comes from a good family. and this is my fault. Go ahead, hang me Yes, yes. This song it is uh, several hundred years old, really. It goes back to the 14th century, where it started as a poem in the Scottish Highlands.
the strength I've got the goose with the fog in the knife Then I'm ahead to do something with the lights And then I walk the street with the bones Oh, bones, oh, bones, oh
came out of his hiding place, he got that whiskey scent. He ran right out and he got a little shot and back to his hole he went. Back to his hole he went. Back to his hole he went. He ran right out and he got a little shot and back to his hole he went. The rat came out of his hole again, he walked up to the gin on the floor. He's a little bit shy but he winked one eye and he got him a little bit more. He didn't go back to his hole all that time, he stayed by the puddle of gin. He said, doggone my pop on soul, I'm gonna get drunk again. He washed his face and his front feet and on his hind legs sat. With a twisted smile and a half-closed eye, said, where's that dad burn cat? Well, he didn't go back to his hole. He said, doggone my soul, I'm only a rat, but a dad burn cat can't run me back to my hole. Little old eyes began to shine as he leapt up more and more. It made me glad that I fell down and spilled it on the floor. Soon that little old puddle was dry, there wasn't any more gin. And the little old rat was having a time when the old top cat walked in. The cat made a pass, the rat made a dash, the boldness faded thin. The cat jumped over and the rat got sober and back to his hole he went. Back to his hole he went, back to his hole he went. The cat jumped over and the rat got sober and back to his hole he went. Back to his hole he went. Back to his hole he went. The cat jumped over and the rat got sober and back to his hole he went. We had a request to do a song, a folk song. Yeah, I've always loved this song. I mean, it's, it's, in, it's, a, it's a folk song, it's an old song, so I remember it as a kid. Cold and hunger, tired and torn Brought him in by the woods 
true song and um, you may have heard the story uh, when Ryan and I were playing with the Blue Billies we played at a, a retirement place uh, and uh, we were setting up and this fellow rolls in big man long white hair long white beard rolls in at his wheelchair and he sticks out his hand and he says shit the hand that shook the hand of the babe and then he looks at me and he says, you know who the babe was, don't you? Ah, uh, uh, I know, I know. 
So that was, he was the start of this song. But this is a true song. I know what it is.
I have some cardboard wings I built a few years ago. They're very nice wings. I am going to get them, and I'm going to give somebody, somebody's going to take me out to Hadley Mountain. Somebody's going to carry me to the top of Hadley Mountain, <laughs> and they're going to take me to the steep side, and we're going to glue those wings on my powerful arms, and I'm going to jump! Fly, Icarus, fly! Wait. And I will
Gabriel and darling Bring me and found somebody new My was just another lonesome day
skinny old town Down on Cheyenne Railroad and wound It's the best in the land And the long steel race And short cross ties